Klondike. It's good to see you. Hey. Shouldn't you be out there, scouting? In a bit. We're in Skyhold for supplies and a change of personnel. Not me, though. Indispensable. <laughs> So, who's Scout Harding, really? Me? Oh, I'm no one. Lived near Redcliffe all my life. Herded sheep for my neighbor. When the Inquisition came through my village, I helped by telling them everything I knew about the area. Then I signed on. Wanted to see the world before it was swallowed up by... that... thing out there. Take care. Inquisitor. What's been going on? Ambassador Montillier sent me a basket of flowers to thank me for my work with the Inquisition. She's so lovely. I have to go. Inquisitor. That's got a good ring to it. We're happy to be here, Your Worship. You need anything, let me know. Can you think of any other tasks suitable for the Chargers? I suspect Haven's quiet by now. Might be worth sending the boys back. We could recover some supplies, get an idea about the enemy's strength. We could even pick up any stragglers who haven't found Skyhold yet. Can we talk about the Bull's Chargers? Certainly. What can I tell you? Have you had any other interesting jobs? Ah, there was the time with the spiders. Big old beast had taken over some Navarran ladies' winter estate. With a full season to lay eggs. Hanging from the chandeliers, scuttling over the tapestries, webbing up the bath. I don't really have a story about it. It's just a lot of spiders. We'll talk later. I like how this Inquisition is coming. Next time you're free, why don't you come grab a drink? I'll introduce you to the Chargers. Can you tell me more about Saharon? It was a damn ugly place. Only getting uglier when I left. 
Between the Fog Warriors, the Talva Shoth, my people, and the Vince, you were lucky to go a day without blood. <sighs> what do you want to know? What were the Fog Warriors like? They were the worst of the rebels. They trained for stealth attacks. They made this fog. I never saw any mages, so I figured it was alchemy, not magic. They were almost invisible in it. I'd be on patrol in the market square. The fog would roll in, and before I knew it, half my squad dead without a sound. It almost sounds like you admire them. They didn't use poison. They didn't hurt civilians, and they were damn good fighters. You have to respect that. Plus, they hit the Vince as hard as they hit us. Hearing some terrified magister scream, My slaves! Where are my slaves? In the fog always put a smile on my face. Tell me about the Tevinta people you fought. The Vince sent forces to Saharan every autumn. Guess they didn't like the summer heat. We had some good fights on the beaches, standing in knee-high water foaming red with blood. Ships on fire around us. The cities were worse. Free bit of advice. Don't let the Inquisition forces get suckered into urban combat. Why do you hate Tevinter forces so much? What makes them so bad? It's not their armies. It's their spies. They bloodied Saharan year-round, killing loyalists, supporting rebels. Alam had no city administrator. Nobody would accept the position. The last four who held it died inside a year. Trying to conquer a country is one thing. Making it so nobody can live there, that just screws everyone. Tell me about the Talvashoth. When Kanari can't handle the fighting in Saharan or lose faith in the Kuhn, they go rogue. They flee into the wilderness and turn into bandits, attacking everyone. They're vicious, savage. You look at them and you can see why my people needed the Kuhn to stay civilized. Isn't that what you did, though? Hey, when I burned out, I didn't go rogue. I reported in and went where the Ben Hasrath sent me. I'm doing my job, serving the Kuhn out here. I'm not some bandit. I am nothing like them. What are things like for the natives of Saharan? I remember one guy. He made these things, fish wrapped in thin bread. Nice guy. Talk to him every morning. So, one time I'm asking about his bad back, and I see he's nervous, trying to tell me something with his eyes. Next thing I know, his assistants draw knives and come at my team. The rebels had forced him to poison my food. Have you I'd seen how nervous he was, so I hadn't eaten anything. A couple of my guys weren't so lucky. We killed the rebels. I lost two men to the poison, another to knife wounds. My friend who made the fish wraps died with a knife in his throat. Close quarters fight. He was caught in the middle. That is what things are like for the natives of Saharan. Sky. See you later, Bull. Nice talking with you, boss.